All right, we are at 219 Roads Drive. Just a little pan around the street here. There's the house next door. House is all down the street. Across the street here. This is a great looking neighborhood. All the houses are very similar. Everybody seems to be uh, well taken care of their yard and their neighborhood. Uh, so there's the house. Let's walk on. I'm gonna walk around the back side. The front side uh, has this little stone path going to the front door. And that's pretty much uh, that. So you wanted to do that, but there is, if you can come down the driveway, you see where I'm parked there. And then you have the carport itself. And we're gonna go in through the carport uh, here. Oh, here's a little thing outside. Let's see what this is while we're out here. Well, we got a little storage, a little bit of some storage here. Oh, a washer and dryer is right in here. So the washer and dryer is in here. Let's go on inside. I'll measure all the doors in just a minute. Here's the kitchen. Let's go find some lights. There we go. There's a lot of room in here. There's plenty of room. Plenty of room to pull up to the to the refrigerator. You can get up here to the sink. You can even turn sideways if you wanted to to get access to the sink. Either way you wanted to go, I think you'd be fine getting to the sink there. It's pretty pretty good size. door is uh, 32 inches so your wheelchair is 26 let's see from this maybe from the door jam itself this door here yeah so even even if I measure it to the door it's 29 inches so you shouldn't have any problems getting through this door at all uh, it's 29 inches your cart's 26 inches wide so it should be fine uh, other doors here 29 inches also 29 inches wide there so shouldn't have any problems there this is definitely not a problem this is huge this is 40 something inches wide right here it's plenty big this is over 40 this is over 40 inches wide here so you shouldn't have any issues getting through here in this room uh, it looks like on the back porch if you ever wanted to go out there you're gonna have to build some type of ramp there's a step down we can see that in the video here but there's a step down into there just one step uh, and then of course outside is another step if you wanted to do that let's see We'll go out here. Anyway, it's a, this is a sunroom basically, uh, but you have to put some type of ramp down here so you can get down in here. But this is a huge door, so it shouldn't have any problem with the width of the door. I uh, just have to put some type of ramp here to get down here. And then when you, of course, if you come outside here, you're gonna have to do some other kind of ramp deal here too. Cause you got two more steps if you wanted to come out this way you know uh, but there's this is a patio i guess of sorts but you're right you could right here in your backyard it's 
it's fairly flat. You got a little bit of water accumulation here, but it's been raining all night. You know, so this is not horribly bad. I imagine this will be gone here in just a little bit. It's just been raining all day. Nice fenced in backyard. I mean, everything is all nice and fenced in. This is a beautiful place. Beautiful place. You got your nice little outbuilding there. You can put a lawnmower or whatever else you want to put back there. All right, let's go back inside. Uh, there's a fireplace there like you said you wouldn't really be using that so but but it is a, a fireplace it looks like it is a wood burning uh definitely a wood burning fireplace uh for sure uh i mean i guess you could convert it to gas if you wanted to uh that probably wouldn't take very much effort let me see what the stove is let me see if the stove is gas in here it's electric this oven is extremely old. That would be something that you're going to end up having to replace. Uh, I mean, no joke, it is like... It's pretty old. Uh, you can see, the, I mean, the dials and everything. It's, I don't even think General Electric even makes anything anymore. All right, let's, uh, let's carry on. So off the kitchen, you got this dining room area here. And it is a legit... You know, dining room area. So you can see. You got know, the living room here. They're moving stuff, so you kind of just got to overlook their stuff that got packed up. Here's the front door. Kind of talked about this earlier. Uh, you could make a better path you know whenever you if you did want to make a ramp going out this way it's three steps but there's already a path here starting you know so you could you know make it more of a concrete path if you wanted to any, any way you wanted to do it three steps and then a little mini step there so and this, this porch is pretty negligible All right, now we're getting into the hallways. So let's take a look at this width of this hallway. If you came through this front door area here, this is 29 inches. Your cart is 26 inches. This one here again on this side is also 29 inches as well. So you shouldn't have any problem getting in here. It just may be a... a with the turn. The hallway itself, this is, this is where the problem is, isn't it? All right, you're looking at 36, 36 inches. 36 inches is this hallway. I think we said we needed it to be like 40. Let's see what I wrote down here. 42 is what your hallway is. Uh, this one is 36. It might work, you know. So I'll also take these uh, dimensions and put them on the description so you don't have to remember them. But 36 inch hallway. So I mean, that's it. Here's this is the uh, bathroom for the guest. So this is not one that you would use, but that just for sakes. Uh, this is 25 inches from here, so there's no way you could you could not get in here. You could not get in here at all. Uh, your cart just won't go through his door through this past that past that right there. Beautiful bathroom though. All right, let's go on. Uh, so how these bedrooms are set up, I don't think, once you got in the hallway, 
I mean, you got some space here to kind of make the turn because this is, you would, you would kind of be able to come at, at somewhat of an angle. But these doors are 29 inches. Everything we're in here is 29 inches. This is one of the bedrooms here. This beautiful hardwood floor is fantastic. Here's the master bedroom here. So here may be the problem, trying to make that turn. I mean, we, we talked about it before. The hallway is 36 inches, you know, so you need a, a clear 42 to make this turn. Uh, so that could be an issue, but this is the master bedroom here. So you come in the master bedroom. And here's the other issue. This bathroom, this bathroom door, it opens to the outside. I mean, you could take it off the hinges, but it's 24 inches. So you'd have to open this opening up. You'd have to open this, open this opening up more in order to make it. Well, you've got plenty of room over here to actually do that if you wanted to. Uh, but the issue is, uh, once you got in here, won't be able to pull straight in because there, there it is. Let me measure from here from this sink. It's 26 inches from the door to the sink. It's 26 inches from the door to the sink. So, I mean, even this toilet here, it's it's very tight. It's 20 inches from the toilet to the wall. So, I mean, it's, it's, this is, I don't think this bathroom is going to work. Uh, I just don't think it's going to work. But uh, that's what we're doing in videos, so we can see. But, yeah, the, if they can go straight into this to this one here. All right, let's, uh, let's move on. Another bedroom here. There we go. All right, that is uh, the red, red brick house. See you on the next one.